Okay, everyone, welcome back to my seven days of seven days to die series. This is day six, and I'm nervous. I am extremely, extremely nervous. Look, if you had asked me four weeks ago, hey, how nervous would you be on day six or even day seven? I would have said, look, I'm thinking I'm going to be fine. But now that I'm this close, I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous because it's now real. Like, it feels real now. The fact that it is literally going to happen next episode. Like, whatever I do in this episode will directly impact day and night seven. Like, yeah, it feels, it feels really real. <laughs> okay, we're back in. I am going to just quickly pause because I need to double check what I said I want to do last time in the last episode so I can make sure I do it in this one. Okay, well, I just noticed the, uh, the end card had a... <laughs> was referencing the wrong object, so it didn't actually appear, which is frustrating. But my plan for today is I need to uh, get as much of this as possible. I'll open this up. Uh, so what I need to do, first off, is get as many spikes as I possibly can. I'm at 200 now. I don't know if this is going to be able to fill the inside. It probably will, but I also want multiple layers of spikes on the outside as well. So we're going to chop down as many trees as I possibly can. Uh, to make sure I'm ready for that. So let's, let's get to it. Like it's real. Like it's actually happening. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Oh, did not go as expected. Did not get me any wood either, which is very annoying. As I said in the intro, it's, um, it's real now. It's day six. Like, day seven is tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to get an engine. I feel like getting an engine is just... Uh, it's probably not going to happen. I will double check the trader tomorrow, though. Because I think his uh, items reset on day seven. So if I double check tomorrow, I, there's a chance I could get an engine. But I don't think I can afford it. Hi, zombie. Whoa! Whoa! Bye, zombie. What do you got for me? A plaster cast, steroids, and more ammo. Thank you. Thank you. Just make 90 more. I know it's probably excessive, but I want to make sure that I'm set, you know? Is that so much to ask? <laughs> I've also been thinking about building a moat, but I feel like a moat will take way too long to build. Like, I need to dig out two blocks down across the entire base. Like, that's that's way too much effort. Especially for night... For night seven. If I did it for, like, night 14, maybe I could make that. But, yeah, I, I don't know. It's going to be a little bit too much to ask if it's just night seven. I don't have that much time, man. Oh, okay, yes. Also, what I need to do today is go raid that camping store I pointed out a while back. That's what I want to do today. So I'm going to get as much wood as I can. And then we're going to go raid that store. The main thing I want from that camping store is bullets or another gun. Something along those lines of usable on night seven, basically. <laughs> oh, what else I need to do is clear out that. I need to clear out that rock today. Because if I can clear out the rock, it gives me better vision of enemies coming that way. I know it's like a small thing, but I need something to do. <laughs> I need to do something. <laughs> and now we just head over to the camping store, which is... Here. Did I just buy something? What did I just buy? Agility. <laughs> okay. I think I just bought another level of agility, like, completely on accident. Alright, I feel better because I have a plan. I have a plan of action. I know exactly what I'm going to do today and in preparation for tomorrow. I really don't want to fail this. Like, I really, really don't. I want to, like, put this on my resume, you know? I want to be able to say, yeah, I did the first seven nights without dying in seven days to die. Like, the game is called Seven Days to Die, and I did it without dying. You should hire me. <laughs> okay, where is it? Is it over there or is it here? Camp Wildfire camping gear. Okay, it's here. Mm. 
Okay. Come on out, everyone. One down. Two down. Well, thanks for showing up, everyone. I'm glad you could just walk out and slowly die one by one. Holy cow. That's a lot of parts to, uh... Guns. <laughs> I'm so glad I can't make anything. Just a full weapon would be nice. It did say weapons bag. Just give me a weapon. I don't have any lockpicks. And it's 7,000 strong. So it's going to take me... 67 more hits, roughly, to open this. Well, I'm not doing anything else. Uh-oh. Another airdrop. Where is it? Where is it? Okay, that's doable. That's doable. I can... I can reach that. Just glad it's not in the mountains again. Okay, what do you got for me? Ten lockpicks, thank you! <laughs> what are these? Vitamins. Oh, I'll take some vitamins. Okay, nothing else? Cool. Alright, we head back, then we head and grab that airdrop. Okay, that's all dumped. You are ready to go. Yeah, whatever. You'll be done in 50 seconds. So let's go grab that airdrop quickly. Because it is... how far away? 500 meters, that's nothing. We'll go grab the airdrop and then we'll know what to do next. Okay, please give me something good. Ah? Uh, open? I did get a pipe shotgun. I mean, that's something, right? Let's see how well it does. 100 bullets, too. Oh, man, this reload speed is nuts. Only one bullet? One bullet. All right. Well, we need to keep that in mind. One bullet for this. Whereas everything else is 22 and 16. <laughs> Whereas this pipe shotgun has one, so it's probably going to be a last resort. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Please, meet pipe. Wow, you didn't die? Okay, well that's, I suppose, uh, a little bit of a disconcerting factor, but that's okay. Look, hello. I missed! Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's try again. Just just hold on. Just uh, l slow down a little bit. I know you're a little bit hungry, but that's okay. Let me try one more time. There we go. Perfect. Thanks for playing, buddy. Good to see ya. Okay, let's get big- get- Okay, let's get rid of that big rock. Just right there. Actually, is this even worth my time? Hold on. Is this even worth my time? Should I even be bothering removing the rock? Is it really gonna be that big of a difference? Like, my only other options are like... Start setting up. I've got 490 spikes. Let's start setting those up those up instead. I will put all of those down around the inside and we will see how much that actually fills up. Okay, that is both sides done. Um, full of spikes, as you can see there. So now we don't need to worry. Okay, what's up next? Is 364 spikes enough? Is it going to be enough? Should I start doing some math? I feel like I should start doing some math. Alright, I'll be back in a sec while I do this math. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's really hard to tell, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, if we add 160 to the previous number we had, which is 256, plus 256, gives us 416. So we need 416 spikes to do three three layers up, one, two, three, and then two across. So one, two across. So I need a little bit more wood, I think. Yeah, because I've only got 364 here. Do I have any spikes stored? I do not. I need just a little bit more wood to do it. I didn't want to drop that, I want to scrap that. So let's get to chopping again. Maybe my math is off because I just did a quick calculation, but I hope it's not. <laughs> I hope I have exactly enough. I'm actually so nervous. I really... Ugh. I'm gonna have to do this. I'm gonna have to be this nervous all week. 
because these episodes come out once a week. <laughs> so it's Saturday at the moment, and I'm going to have to wait an entire week until next Saturday to stop being nervous. <laughs> What is that? Okay, I'm gonna go over here, because potentially I can get a lot of loot from this. Do they all turn around? They do all turn around. Okay, let's kill this guy first, because I'm more worried about this guy than anyone else. I really need to work on my aim, too. Okay, this, this crawly guy is the one I'm most worried about. Because he can jump. Okay, now I'm not worried at all. The rest of these are really easy to take care of. So we just go, a boop, one down, a boop, boop, missed that, sorry. Two down, that is a lot of big women. Wow, you just ate that? Holy cow! He ate that like a dang champ. Oh, three in a row. Ah! Thought I got three in a row there. Holy cow. Okay, well, we got something after all of that, which is great. What did you get me? Uh, I suppose a refund on the bullets. Thank you. Okay, I wonder what's going to happen. Because I feel like these affect... These are affected by gravity, right? Like, blocks in this game are affected by gravity. So what happens if I just get rid of everything? Will all of this fall? Will it crumple into, like, smaller rocks? I don't know. I am surprised that this is still standing. Okay, here we go. Maybe we should just keep it like this. Like a little sculpture. <laughs> looks so funny. Um, yeah, I'm happy. Let's keep it like that. <laughs> okay, 466 wood spikes, which means we have enough wood spikes to last, to go all the way around, which is great. So the way I've calculated it, it is three spikes up and then three layers of spikes out, including this corner layer, if that makes sense. So, let me try and visually show you. It'll be one, two, three spikes up, and then one, two, three out. Okay, hope that makes sense. And that's going to be all the way around. So hopefully two spikes out is enough. If it's not, I'm going to need to get more spikes. How many can I make? 123. Let's make 100 spikes. I am so nervous. <laughs> This is so dumb. What am I doing? Okay, we also need forged iron as well, so we can upgrade these doors. 187. No, we don't need that much. Let's take 30. 30 total. I also need to sort out my medicine, because these painkillers give me extra health, reduce my damage mitigation, things like that. Let's take a couple of painkillers. Let's just put them down here for now. Now you are done. You're getting ready. Now let's start repairing... These doors. Okay, you are now max. You're at 7,500, and so are you. Perfect. Okay, well, it's day seven. I I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous for the next day. I'm nervous for the next night. I have all of my smelting going on at the moment. I have spare bullet tips, bullet casings, and gunpowder to make extra bullets just in case. I have outlined all of the medicine I'm going to be taking the day or a few hours before I guess like a few minutes before the night drops so I'm able to survive my guns are all ready to go I'm gonna be taking a copy of every single gun I have <laughs> I've added a roof just in case like I'm shooting pew, 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 and then I can't fall back onto where I am oh sorry into my base I've had a <laughs> I've <laughs> added little struts around the outside so I can walk up to them and then turn back and shoot whoever's at the door I'm planning to drop all of the spikes. I have 582 spikes that I'm going to be dropping all the way around the outside to make sure that I'm I'm set and I'm ready. Yeah, I feel like I'm good. I feel like I've got everything ready to go. I just need to make sure that I can actually do it. 
I do have a question for you. Do you want me to make day seven and the night seven all into one video? Or do you want me to split them into each their own separate videos? So the day will be one video and the night will be another. Let me know in the comments below. But until then, I will see you in the next one. Peace. If we draw Galactus, we're good. And then next turn we go Shuri. Yeah, so we go... Deathlock now, which wins us the middle. On turn 5, cards cost one more, so we go Shuri. Hopefully we draw Galactus. If we draw Galactus, we win the right, I think. Because of Wolverine, we'll go to 4. And Galactus will go to 4, so we'll have 8 power on the right. 